Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima and today we're doing a wig install. We're installing this unit right here. This is 30 inches of Ali Pearl's Water Wave unit and it's beautiful as you guys can see. The curl pattern is bomb. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got my hair to look like this, then stay tuned. This is their Water Wave wig in 30 inches, I believe. HD lace, so I'm super excited to install this because it's long and it's HD lace and that's just like my favorite combo. I already did install my wig cap, so all that really left is left to do is put this wig on. I did bleach the knots on the wig and pluck it. It's like super plucked. I plucked it like quite a bit, honestly. Um, but the wig did come pre-plucked, so I didn't even need to do that much. So this wig actually came like properly pre-plucked. It was definitely not a dense hairline at all. And so this is what the frontal looks like. It's a 13 by four, but as you guys can see, it does not get short on the side. So it's 13 by four for the whole, uh, the whole like front of your wig. I already went in and cut the combs that were on the side so the only comb that's left is the one on the bottom right here. And so now I'm also going to be putting my foundation shade on the inside of this lace. Okay so I applied foundation on the lace and so now I'm going to cut the ear tabs off which is always what I do first. Okay, so now that we've cut off all of the excess lace, it's time to glue this wig down. It's already melting into my skin, okay, and I haven't even applied the glue, so that's how you know this is some good quality lace. Um, this is HD lace, so I'll be gluing this down with some ghost bond, um, like usual. So I'm going to go in sections as well, so I'm going to start off with the middle, like right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the sections. And so yeah. So I'm kind of trying to eye where my lace is going to go. And so, so that I don't apply lace further than I need to. I mean, sorry, so I don't apply glue further down on my forehead than I need to. So for each section, I applied three layers of glue and then I waited for it to turn mostly clear for me to apply the lace onto the glue. Um, and then you guys will also see that most of the edges are actually have not been glued down. So I'm going to go back in and make sure that all of the edges of the lace are glued down with my little rat tail comb. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there and yeah. So also just to really really make sure that all of the lace is nice and flat and melted I'm going in with my spritz spray and spraying the edges of the lace and then I'm going to go in and tie everything with my elastic band. I have installed the wig I'm just tying it down so that it can really melt.
and then for my edges i do what i always do so i'm basically just parting out pieces on the side for my baby hair and then i'm gonna cut everything with a little razor and i'm using my mini flat iron to kind of curl the baby hairs that's just that just makes it a million times easier to do your baby hairs in my opinion and then i'm using hairspray to swoop the baby hairs and so i'm doing two swoops on the side and then my side burns like usual okay so the baby hairs are done so now i'm gonna try and do look at this hair though let me just show you guys what this hair looks like it's a lot of hair as you guys can see it's a whole lot of hair Okay, so now basically what I'm doing is flattening the top of my hair. I wanted it to make it super flat because I had a hairstyle in mind that I wanted to do, which is kind of like a half up, half down situation with like where I twisted the hair as well. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it was kind of hard for me to do it by myself because I was trying to make sure that the hair remained taut and flat and i only had two hands so i called my sister to come and help me and she helped me to make sure that like the the twist didn't loosen up if you guys know what i mean so yeah so looking back this hairstyle doesn't actually look so bad but in the moment i just didn't like the way that it looked and i feel like it kind of makes my head look really small this hairstyle so i ended up just taking these two little twists out and just leaving my hair leaving the hair down in its natural state Okay, so I know in the last clip you guys saw me with that little updo situation that I had going on, but I actually took that off because I felt like it made my head look kind of small and I didn't really like how it looked. But this is the next day and I'm coming back to you guys to show you guys what the hair looks like on the second day. So I've just kind of let the hair dry from like its wet state and this is what the hair looks like. I just put a little bit of water onto the curls to refresh them and this is what it's looking like this is ali pearl's water wave unit in 30 inches and i absolutely love the hair thank you so much to ali pearl for partnering up with me on this video i love it um if you guys like the video of course hit the like button subscribe for more videos like these and i will see you guys in the next one bye